a dispute in Namibia over access to diamond-rich lands around the town of Luderitz is now threatening to derail major energy projects, state and company officials have said, as the government tries to step up to resolve the situation. Any protracted delays may scare off investors at a crucial time for Namibia, as it aims to accelerate its oil production following offshore fines by Total Energies, Shell and Galp. At the heart of this discord are vast tracts of desert land held by Spegbiat Diamond Mining, SDM company. Now, you might think a desert land was a big deal. Well, these are not just any stretches of sand. They are key to several massive projects. We are talking about an 800 megawatt gas to power plant, a $10 billion green hydrogen project by Hyphen Energies, and two wind farms. And yes, Wind farms in the desert, it's a thing. Now, let's look at the parties or the stakeholders involved in this dispute. First on our list is the Spergebiet Diamond Mining, SDM. SDM holds a mining license for these lands. However, the company is currently held in a high-stake legal spot in Winhoek's High Court. The majority shareholder, Dubai-based GEM Group, is being sued by the minority partner, Lucor over allegations of asset stripping. This legal mess is like trying to untangle a slinky that's been knotted by a toddler. Second is the BW Energy, which is trying to bring its offshore Kuda Field gas pipeline onshore. They have postponed their final investment decision due to the land access issue. A senior official from BW Energy described the situation at a conference in April, saying they've been at an impasse for a year now to conclude the mechanics of how to coordinate and cooperate when in operations, and that it was quite urgent. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Mines and Energy is attempting to mediate, seeking a solution that would allow all of these projects to proceed. A spokesperson mentioned that talks are ongoing, but it's proving to be as time-consuming as waiting for a desert rainstorm. Now imagine you have diamond miners, energy executives and government officials all trying to figure out how to share a piece of desert. It's like watching kids fight over who gets the biggest slice of cake, except this cake is made of sand and worth billions of dollars. So what's the real issue here? Well, it's a case of conflicting interests with some economic impacts. These energy projects, particularly Hyphen Energy's green hydrogen project are expected to transform Namibia's economy. Delays not only affect the companies involved, but also potential job creation and energy supply for the region. There's also environmental concerns. The irony of trying to establish a green energy project in the desert while battling over land traditionally used for mining is not lost on anyone. It's a delicate balance between sustainable development and traditional resource extraction. We can't forget about the legal complications. The high court battle between Gem Group and Lucor adds another layer of complexity. It's like trying to build a house of cards in a windstorm. One wrong move and everything collapses. And what about the local politics? Seeing how the mayor of Luderitz, Philippus Balahau, earlier highlighted the urgency of the situation, saying it was a time-consuming process. So it's a race against the clock, and the clock is ticking loudly. As we wrap up, here is something to ponder about. Can Namibia balance its rich mining heritage with its ambitious energy future? And more importantly, can these shareholders find common ground before the desert sand shifts again? Thanks for watching, but don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on these and many other fascinating stories around the world.